it does work. It works great. I drove from Arizona to Oklahoma after fixing these bent axles with a pull jack. It was fine, my tires weren't wearing funny and it was so bad before that it had corded the inside of a tire and literally just freaking bent it back up into place and I drove a thousand miles like that and it's totally okay. So you're gonna be fine. I'll show you how. I'm about a thousand miles from home right now. Home is in where I have to put this trailer back at and it's messed up. These axles are bent pretty bad. Like they were wearing out the tire prematurely. Um, the axles were bent before I left, but it's kind of one of those things where I uh, didn't have time to fix it, so I was gonna send it anyway. But now I'm gonna try to fix it. I gotta drive back to Oklahoma from Arizona, and I don't wanna have any blowouts. This one's wearing funny too. It's a straight axle trailer, so I'm at a Harbor Freight that I found. I'm just gonna put a pole jack under there pump it up and uh, see if we can't get it fixed I mean at least get it better than how it is now yeah it's probably overloaded I'm pretty sure every trailer that this Escalade has ever been on has been overloaded and uh, the other one I used to use was five lug axle also and it did just fine I went all over the place with it so somebody whoever used this before me freaking screwed it all up I don't know what they did might have hit something I don't know you can see under there there's a decent bow to it. See if it works. Can't hurt. Fresh China hotness. Think that'll get her done. $30. I don't want to be under here when I do this. Oh yeah. You can see this one's still wonky, but that one's a lot straighter. Now what I don't know is when I release that, how much of that will stay that way. Okay, let's let this out. See how it lands. I think I'll hit it over there too. And then I'll go to the back. The back axle is almost perfect now because I had it sitting up. I jacked it up enough to get the trailer in the air change the wheel with the bottle jack on the axle so I'm gonna do the same thing to this wheel and let it sit up there for a bit too to try to get this one back where it needs to be so I ran inside the subway to wash my hands I figured I'd give this thing a couple minutes to sit up on the jack to kind of let the grain settle in uh, I think I want to replace that tire too or at least get it flipped on the wheel where these ones aren't too bad. This one's not great, but it's not like delaminating. Get that one rotated too. And uh, this one looks to be okay. Chrome don't get you home, but bottle jacks do. Yeah, this is a great method. It works fine. I'd recommend it to anybody if you were in a pinch. Like, yeah, I think this thing needs new axles, especially uh, higher weight rating runs if I'm gonna keep using it with this thing. But, uh, this, this is definitely a, a viable solution if you're in a problem like I was. So I did get it much better with the pull jack, but when I got my tires, the bad tire replaced, the uh, dude at the trailer shop, see it gained a little bit, but he uh, he just threw a regular jack under there and just went to freaking town on it, like more than I was comfortable doing. But I trusted the guy because I know what he's doing, and uh, he got it to be about perfect. And what he said before, he's like, yeah, as you go, it'll probably gain a little camber just because of the weight and bumps and stuff, but it'll get you home just fine. And he was right. So every now and then I check it and I used the, my real jack cause I didn't think it would fit under there. But his did, so I used my real jack and I just, you know, give it a few more cranks whenever it needed it. And we got back just fine. Didn't wear out the tires or anything weird, nothing like that. Like literally about a thousand miles. And I didn't even take a regular route home. I went, like freaking exploring and stuff. You'll see that in my next video here. It'll be on the sidebar, you should go check it out. 